If scientists are right about global climate change and rising sea levels, today's cities are in grave danger for one compelling reason. Most of them lie right next to the ocean. 15 of the 20 mega cities in the world at this moment are located in coastal plains. If it's eh, Amsterdam or it's London or New York or Singapore, most of the cities are vulnerable to flooding. I come from Holland and Holland is a very, very special country. It's completely fake. It's an artificial country. At this moment, large parts of our country are uh, located below sea level which actually means that water levels are maintained uh, artificially by pumping stations. If you stop pumping, all the water will come back in, in a minute. Holland is one big artificial country. Kuhn Oltuis and Rutger de Graaf have a solution to the problem. Why not build a city that floats? Two thirds of the world is just water. And we're using just one small part just at the waterfront. And I think the next step is that we go beyond the waterfront. If you have to let your city grow, do it on the water. There's all this space. That's our ultimate goal to design a floating city. The secret lies in the special floating foundation they've created. A buoyant foam slab encased in solid concrete. The concrete makes the slab sturdy enough to support a building. But the foam core allows it to ride high on the waves. So if it's steel or uh, if it's uh, foam or uh, even concrete, it all can float. Once you build several of these floating concrete slabs, there's nothing to prevent joining them together into massive concrete foundations, as large as 250,000 square feet. On top of this basement, we can even build three or four stories above. When we open the doors of the dry dock, water will enter and this becomes a floating house. So all the things you do on land can you also do on floating foundations. And by using concrete, which is very, very strong, it gives a lifespan for more than 100 years. And that's exactly the same lifespan that you can use on land. Once you've built a critical number of floating buildings, you can build floating platforms to connect them all. And before you know it, you've got a floating neighborhood. So if you would have many of these structures and you uh, put them together and uh, connect them with the infrastructure, um, you would grow towards a floating city. I think if you make a floating city, it will be a combination of all types of buildings. Uh, floating roads, floating apartments, floating villas like this. But your floating house will come with one huge advantage. If you don't like your neighbors, just cast off and move to a new neighborhood. So a city is not static anymore, but dynamic. You can change the configuration and maybe move a complete city from one part of the world to another part of the world. If an entire city can float, there's nothing to stop it from traveling from continent to continent. So the way to start the development of traveling cities could be the development of traveling Olympic Games. A floating Olympic village that you could move from one city to the next city that organizes the floating Olympic Games. You can make a city in which you have floating buildings that can adapt to sea level changes. This is really going to happen. It 